and it could cost, you're saying a thousand dollars a month, it could cost as much as uh, five hundred thousand dollars to forty four times twelve thousand dollars a year. Is that correct? Uh, perhaps in a theor perhaps in a theoretical world, however, I would submit to you that many of us as a group are near a civic center, either at Tobacco, North York, this one here at City Hall, uh, even East York, and people use the, use use that um, as their touchdown space, and they're already paying $400, uh, up to $400 a month uh, for that. I think we, we will, if staff puts some, puts some parameters around it, uh, I think the cost will be not even close to that. But mathematically, on paper, if everyone went out and spent $1,000 and got another office and it was in the community, I suppose theoretically it is a possibility. How many councillors have uh, constituency offices um, outside of the City Hall building? I haven't done a check on that. I think it's a handful. Yeah, there's only a handful. And do you know how many have um, offices inside the uh, community centres that we own? Or civic centres? Okay, I think it's about eight uh, for the first question and then about 24, 22 for the second one. Um, what I believe, um, and tell me um, if you don't agree with this, that you have an uh, office space already, uh, a constituency office. I think it's on Eglinton, yeah, you have an office. I have it on, I have it on St. Clair, you were there on the weekend. On St. Clair, right. <laughs> so what's that, what's that costing um, a month? 900. 900. And, and let me say this, it provides such excellent service. It is the best customer service center, the best investment I make. So if everybody went out and did what you're saying, um, go out and rent space out in, outside of uh, city property, uh, and wouldn't, that, wouldn't you have to find staff to uh, staff those offices for some of us? That don't have as many staff as you may have. Like no, I would, deputy mayor only has two staff, and some councils have three. And um, I, I would not see this as linked to any staff increases. I don't. I don't think that would be appropriate. In my case, um, we kind of work it out in such a way that we have two staff there, and you know, one and a half there, one and a half here in terms of FTEs, and. Um, it's a priority. It's a priority of us to, to give service to our residents. And now it works. Now again. Correct me if I'm wrong, in our office budgets, you're allowed to claim gas and uh, mileage in kilometers, is that correct? Yes, yes. Don't you think it's more appropriate that when somebody calls you uh, for a problem, um, that you go to their front door and serve them and, instead of you telling them to come and see you in your community, if you're already in your, their community? I think that, uh, well, in, in my case, frankly, because we're a one-car family, and my partner needs the car for her work. Uh, I use my bike in making uh, making home calls, um, but um, and I do make a lot of house calls uh, in my in my week's work, and we also do a lot of servicing of residents at the door at the at our community office. Sometimes, uh, if you especially if you have to do a, a fence issue or something that involves a few neighbors. It is very convenient to say, okay, let's all gather at the community office and solve the problem uh, together. So a little touched on space that everybody in the community knows about has proven to be very effective. But yes, I make tons of house calls. I'll bet you I make as many as you do. Okay, that was your last question. Uh, and I know you make a lot. Okay. Okay. Deputy Mayor Holiday questions.